Hello there guys, uh, welcome to the channel, welcome to the Sim Racing Corner. Um, I have a bunch of electronics on my table, which you can clearly see. Um, I have some Arduino Uno, so one, two, and three, and a bunch of different displays. Already wired up, so I can demonstrate all of these individually for you. And one which we have running here, this is uh, a Uno. Uh, simply put, I ran out of nanos, but I could have basically done the same thing. Uh, with these two together and you can see I have two devices running off one board here and you may be looking at this and thinking well this looks really complicated and difficult to do well I can tell you straight off guys you don't need to know anything about electronics and you don't need to be a programmer to get this working a sim hub sim hub does it all for you um, it even tells you which wires to plug everything into and I'll show you that um, later in the video but first I thought I'd show you these different kind of you know these different options you have I mean there's loads more you can do I mean there's a lot more different display options out there lots of different gadgets these are the, just the few I have um, and these things are really super cheap um, you know this um, really nice RGB matrix display 64 LEDs is only just over a couple of pounds the Uno is a couple of pounds and you can make a really good little device for that again you'll see this in a moment and it's amazing people are selling these on eBay in a 3D printed case for like 30 to 50 pounds for something which costs, you know, less than a fiver to make for yourself. And if you have a 3D printer like me, you can make one yourself. And I just added some perspex and a bit of tint to make it look super professional. There'll be a separate video on this guys, on, on making this into a project at some point, cause this is amazing. And um, yeah, so this is a fantastic bit of gear, but I just thought I'd show you these all working. So on here we have um, a little matrix display. Again, like a couple of quid, that's only a couple of quid. Um, you know, next to nothing. And um, we can see a gear shifter lights on there. And on here, this is a nice little uh, circuit board. Um, you've got these LEDs at the top and a couple of displays there. And that's another gear shift on there as well, but we can change that in Sim Hub, it's dead easy. A speedo and uh, the the kind of lap, that's the lap number we're on, well, in the playback of the telemetry. And also a bunch of little buttons here, which are, are programmed to change the telemetry output. And again, it, it's all done. When I upload the um, sketch to the Arduino, which is basically the program, which SimHub basically compiles for you and does all the settings, it works. Uh, this even has this little kind of cool thing where you can change the, uh, the lighting intensity on the, there as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, it's amazing. This stuff is really amazing and super easy. So again, watch the tutorial in a moment and you'll go, wow, that was super easy. And I'm not gonna show you every one how to set each one up. And the reason is, once you've set one up, they're all the same. So you can ignore the fact they look all complicated with lots of wires because SimHub will tell you what to do. In fact, let me just give you a quick overview of say this one. Um, you got you got your two power you know cables here so you got your voltage and your ground and you've got a data cable and that's it and sim hub will say hey well you don't obviously tell you that because that's yeah you know, simple you just plug that in into those as normal and onto the back of here you'll see uh you'll see the voltage and ground pin um on there it should be kind of hopefully it comes up oh, hopefully it comes into uh view somehow some way there you go, you can see the three wires there. So you've got the five volts in the middle, the ground at the far end, and there's the data cable. And what SimHub will show you in a picture as well and tell you explicitly in words, it'll say, hey, plug that pin, the data cable, the one that's labeled DIN, into port, into pin number, whatever on your Arduino. And you can even change that as well. And then it will just compile that into the code and then upload it to the Arduino. And it works, it's simple as that. It may see, seem like that's too easy to be true. Believe me, it is that easy. So moving on from this one, let's try out one of these others. Let's go on to this one. I'm not a massive fan of this display, but you know, maybe you can find a use for it. It's um, you know, old style sort of uh, display. Um, cost about six pounds for this. And um, someone's selling it on eBay. I've seen this in a 3D printed case for 35 pounds, you know, so yeah. It's uh, inexpensive uh, if you do it yourself. Um, yeah, you can edit it in SimHub and use all of the display. You can you know, have it in quadrants, so you can have stuff over here, over here, over there, and over there. Uh, you can also even label it. So you, in SimHub, you can kind of make it look a, a little bit more useful than what you're seeing here. Uh, so not the best demonstration, but you know, at least you can see the quality of the display. You can see it working, get an idea of what you're getting uh, with this type of output.
I turned off the lights for this one so you can see the full effect of the super bright LEDs. So eight RGB LEDs and you can see it is a uh, RPM gauge right now and it, they flash when it hits the red line. So a shift indicator which is kind of cool and uh, I can just imagine building this into a small case with the, the Nano here and it'd be actually a very nice little kind of desktop little shift indicator and uh, RPM you know, gauge. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, pretty really cool. And this is my favorite guys. Uh, this is a 64 LED matrix display. Um, that green was just basically the beginning of the race. So it shows all the flags as well. So different colored flags will show on here. So a big bold gear indicator and shift indicator as well. You see it's flashing there to tell me to shift up. Um, and you see it's going red when it gets to the, when it red lines. And that bracket there is a spotter, which is brilliant. So a car comes up the left hand side, it will show me that out flash just let me know that there's a car coming there and a bracket on the right will indicate a car's coming up the right right hand side um, if you have two of these you can just change it so you have one dedicated spotter um, on each side of your monitor maybe and you can have this chevron design like an animation to make it even bolder but yeah it's brilliant look at that i mean it's it's awesome i mean this cost me less than a fiver to make this and people are selling this on ebay for up to 50 quid you don't need to spend that much money guys just do it yourself and uh with my um, nice 3D printed enclosure. Let me just show you what that looks like with that on top. Just adds it a little bit more professionalism to the, the styling of it. But I think, yeah, it's really nice. So there you go, guys. Let's move on to the tutorial. For this tutorial, we're gonna take this matrix display and connect it up to this Arduino Nano. So I have wired up two cables already, and that's because there's always gonna be your five volts and your ground in the same place on every nano. And on here, there is a voltage and ground on here. So let me just show you that, I'll bring this up. And you can see the top one is voltage, second one is ground, and the corresponding pins on this nano. So the second pin in is, you'll see is ground. And then the fourth one is the five volts, so that's the voltage. So that's pretty simple, guys. So whenever you wire up any of these devices, you're always gonna have the same uh, five volts and ground going to a five volt and ground on the device. So next step is, guys, let's go into Sim Hub and we'll set this up. And this will then give us um, information on which pins these go into the board on here. In Sim Hub, go to the Arduino section. Click on that and go to My Hardware if it's not selected. It's along the top and uh, leave it as Single Arduino. And we want to open the Arduino Setup tool. So just click on this here. Wait a moment and it will give you a little pop-up here. And now what we can do now is pick the device we're gonna be using. So you can see all the devices on this list. You can run it by corresponding um, gauge or the type of gauge it is or you can just do it visually because um, these things are very different as you can see here but I did spy what we're using so we're using this one and we're just click here to turn it on and immediately if I turn it off if I turn it on you can see again what it's done and you can see it is actually illustrating what pins on the board we need to connect the pins on the device here so it's already showing me, and in fact, what I can do is if I really want to, I can actually change it. And so if I change a number, um, it'll kind of put it in a different place. So if I want it at number seven instead, it will then change it on there. So when I upload the sketch, what will happen is it'll program it that that data line is going to go to pin seven. But we want it all together. I think it'd be neater. So I'll do it as it was before. So four, five, and six. And you can see they all are labeled. So what I'm gonna do now is follow this instruction and connect these up. So I followed the instructions that SimHub was showing me. So these three bottom pins were plugged into the corresponding pins that SimHub was telling me to plug into on the Arduino. So all we need to do now is plug this into the PC and upload the sketch, the program onto the Arduino, and this should work pretty much immediately.
So back into Sim Hub, go over here and make sure the board you are using is selected. So we are using an Arduino Nano. So the first one in the list is the correct one. Um, so we just leave it as that, but you can see it does support a few other types of Arduinos, but we can ignore that. Next, we need to pick the device. So it's on COM port six. If you have more than one COM port device there, and you're not sure which one is being used by your Arduino, the easiest thing to do is just basically unplug the device and see what's missing from the list then. And then to plug it back in, then you can work out that this is the device you need to use. And so you can just then go, I understand, you know, read all that sort of stuff, but just put click I understand and upload. And it should just take a few seconds, five, 10 seconds to upload this program to the board and then we will have a working device. And that should be it guys. And uh, yeah, seems simple enough, doesn't it? But it is done, so we can close this now and go back to SimHub. And I'm gonna play back. You can see it's actually gone on already, it's turned on. And if I go and play one of my telemetry replays so we can just play this and you can see it's working along the top here is a list of different gadgets or the different displays you can connect up to the uh, arduino so effectively this is where you change the parameters so whatever gizmo you've attached to your arduino you'll be able to find some sort of configuration menu here. So the one we're using is the matrix display. It's not the RGB one. The one we're using has a, is under this one, display and alerts, and it's the single color matrix gear indicator. So you can adjust the brightness, the orientation of the gear indicator. So you can uh, swap it to different uh, angles, depending if uh, which side up it is. Um, you can change the font and you can also turn off the red line blink if you want to. So there you go, that's where this one's hidden under. And as I said, all the other uh, displays will have their own menus, which you can then you know, configure personally to whatever you need and how you want it to work for you. And there you have it guys, that was super easy. Um, yeah, really, really simple stuff. No difficulty at all setting up any display with SimHub. It is the same process, you just follow SimHub's instructions, upload the sketch, make sure it's wired in as SimHub shows you, and you'll have a working display, um, whether it's one of these matrix displays or any other display that works with SimHub. So there you go, hope you found that useful guys, and uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.